The building originally opened on the 8th of December 2000. Um, it was a 15 bedded unit with shared bedrooms with the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. Then we were forced to move and I suppose it's one of the benefits of COVID is that we were forced to move. Now we're back as a six bedded unit and we have four gentlemen living out in the community independently. It's really a home which was what we tried to achieve. Every resident in the unit had input into their own bedrooms, picking out their decor, everything in the room they were involved in down to the paint colour, curtains. As for the four people that went to the apartments, they had huge input. So Millfield House and the residents and the people in the apartments, I think with this new development, we have connected, they have a sense of identity, they've personalised their spaces, there's a sense of hope, they're inspired, and I think they're empowered more by having a more individual way of life and being supported and being led by them rather than us manage and tell them how they should live their life. Staff never swayed, I can honestly say that they work like so hard and they really deserve, you know, acknowledgement of that. And I suppose that shows the commitment in terms of the profession to coming back here into a lovely environment which is nicer for them to work in as well, as well as people living in it. And it's like about people and their story, it's not about their illnesses and their conditions. When we sourced the four apartments through Cork Mental Health Association, um, this was a big break because they would now be close, they would be in a familiar uh, environment. Uh, Millfield House is just across the road for them and they have ongoing support from the staff that they are very familiar with. I saw the change in them. They were certainly, they were, they were brighter, they were more motivated, uh, they engaged in all the skill building and the work required for them to live an ordinary life. I was in Millfield House for 20 years, sharing a room with two others like. When we came here it was absolutely fabulous like. Oh, I've done up and furnished in the whole lot. I'm out in the apartment now, I love it. I love it, you know, a bit of independence, freedom and but I still have the support of the staff in, in, in Millfield House, like, and I, I mean, there's two in the apartment, there's four of us going out to the apartments, and uh, it's very good, we love it. I've been here about five months, but I'm living in an apartment off the road. We mo most of the time, or 99% of the time, we're friends. The other 1% is when we get up, over, get up early in the morning, get out of bed and make them up, you know. On Mondays, we do a mindfulness group, but if it's sunny, we go walking. Tuesday, there's gardening. Wednesday, there's cookery. And Thursday, there's walking. Friday is for myself and the weekend. The new building is very classy and it's very uh, clean and respectable as well. It helps me kind of start to think, I have my own place, so, uh, do what I want, come as I go, really. Paintings on the walls, the blinds, the curtains, everything was absolutely fantastic. I couldn't fault it, I was shocked. The first thing I said is I would take off my coat and move in here myself in the morning. It was just that good. The staff down here, I just, I literally can't afford the staff down here. They're so good and they're so good to all the people down here. I'm just over the moon, to be honest with you, that Cairdon can actually call a facility like this his home. First of all, it's very homely, but also it's very new and there's lots of space. There's a nice calmness to the place. And plus, you're still very close to the city. Uh, you've got all the amenities on your doorstep. And I suppose that was the one thing that struck me before um, they all moved back here, was that they were all looking forward to moving back here. It shows the positivity in the area and that what they were used to. And even though they were right in bang in the city centre before here, they wanted to come back to where they called home. A peer advocate is somebody who has used the mental health services themselves and have come out the other side and trained to go back in to support people who are using the mental health services now. All the rooms are en suite and I know it might, it might be unusual to talk about things like that but people deserve that too, you know. People who use the mental health services, they need to kind of their independence and to have the best quality of living conditions that they can have. When I came to see the place, I suppose when people had moved back into it, one of the residents, I could hear him saying, we are home, we've come back home.